I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Friday morning, the 2nd of June, the year 2023, and this is your friend Angus Bucken with a thought for the day. If we start off in the book of Numbers, Numbers chapter 21, and I'm reading verse 17. Spring up, O well, all of you sing to it. And then we go straight to the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, and verse 22. The Lord is our king. He will save us. And then just over the page to chapter 35 and verse 6. For waters shall burst forth in the wilderness. Are you going through a barren desert time at the moment in your life, my dear friend? Well, the Lord's got a word for us. He says, keep digging your well. But Lord, it's so dry. We're in the middle of the desert. Keep digging your well. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 6, Blessed are those who thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. I remember it like yesterday. We arrived on that farm that we bought, now called Shalom. It was just a piece of bush. There was no houses. There was no facilities. There was no electricity. There was, there was nothing. It was just barren land. And we had no water. And I found a, a damp patch. That's all it was in a, in a low-lying area. And with a pick and shovel, with a couple of helpers, we started to dig right on that damp spot. And we dug down eight feet. I remember it clearly. Eventually, we were lowering ourselves down with a rope. It was like we were going into a mine. We just kept on digging. I never, ever thought we'd get anything. And then all of a sudden, out of the side of a rock started trickling a beautiful, clear spring. The water gurgled up. We nurtured it lovingly and it grew stronger and stronger and stronger until we had a water supply for our little house. I want to tell you something today. We have four, no less than four small dams that originated from that little spring that we dug in the wilderness. Today, the Lord says to you, keep digging your well and you will receive water to quench your thirst. Jesus bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.